Hey everyone, this will be a quick tutorial into polynomial long division, which is quite a difficult task for many people um, because it's not necessarily that intuitive. But what I'm going to do is try and break it down for you so that you can see just how it works by a step by step basis. So let's say that we have a polynomial x squared minus 3x minus 10, which is just a basic quadratic equation. And we want to divide that by a random polynomial. So that could be x, could be x plus 2, could be x minus 5, could be x squared, could be any any given number of x's, x squareds, any number of x terms. could be x cubed minus 5, and obviously our answer will vary each time. But we'll start with the most simplest one, and we'll say x out the front x squared minus 3x minus 10. And I think all of you could do this equation. So how many times does x go into x squared? Well, it goes x times, because x times x is x squared. And so that gives us an x squared, and we'll bring that down. And so we minus x squared off, which gives us negative 3x minus 10 as the remaining equation. Now, how many times does x go into negative 3x? Well, it goes in negative 3 times. And so we then have negative 3x. And we bring that down. We minus this term off this term, which gives us 0 and minus 10. How many times does x go into negative 10? Well, it goes in 0 times, so we have a remainder of negative 10. And that is how you do polynomial long division when you just have a simple x term out the front. But now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the same equation, but the divisor will be x plus 2 this time. And so that changes things a little bit, but not really that much when it comes down to it. So what we'll say is that we're now going to do the same thing, but x plus 2. How many times does x plus 2 go into x squared? Well, if we say that still goes into it x times, we times this by x, and we get x squared plus 2x is the term that we've added by putting the x up here. And so now when we minus that off, we still get 0, but now we get negative 3x minus 2x, which equals 5x. And we bring down this negative 10, and now our uh, term that we're asking for is x plus 2. How many times does x plus 2 go into negative 5x? Well, x goes into negative 5x negative 5 times, and we put down the negative 5. So now negative 5 times x plus 2 gives us negative 5x minus 10. And when we minus this term off the remaining term, we get 0 and 0. So this time the remainder is 0, and x minus 5 is a perfect divisor, and that's all there is to it, really. And more complex polynomials, you just follow the same process. So if this was an x squared, you say how many times does x squared go into x squared? Well, that goes in one time. And then you put 1 times x squared plus 2 down here, and minus it off the remaining equation.